Hello viewers, welcome to the new section, Natural Language Processing. Here, we will cover an introduction to working with text in TensorFlow. We start by introducing how word embeddings work and using the bag of words method. Then, we will move on to implementing advanced embeddings. Let's start with the first video, working with bag of words. In this video, we will see how to use bag of words embedding in TensorFlow to do spam prediction. Up to this point, we have only considered machine learning algorithms that mostly operate on numerical inputs. If we want to use text, we must find a way to convert the text into numbers. With large texts, we can choose how many words we want to keep, and usually keep the most frequent words, labeling everything else with the index of zero. This type of embedding is called bag of words. To illustrate how to use bag of words with a text dataset, we will use a spam ham phone text database from the UCI machine learning data repository found at this link. This is a collection of phone text messages that are spam or not spam. We will download this data, store it for future use, and then proceed with the bag of words method to predict whether a text is spam or not. For this example, we will start by getting the data, normalizing and splitting the text running it through an embedding function, and training the logistic function to predict spam. The first task will be to import the necessary libraries for this task. Among the usual libraries, we will need a .zip file library to unzip the data from the UCI machine learning website we retrieve it from. Instead of downloading the text data every time the script is run, we will save it and check whether the file has been saved before. This prevents us from repeatedly downloading the data over and over if we want to change the script parameters. After downloading, we will extract the input and target data and change the target to be 1 for spam and 0 for ham. To reduce the potential vocabulary size, we normalize the text. To do this, we remove the influence of capitalization and numbers in the text. We must also determine the maximum sentence size. For this, we look at a histogram of text lengths in the dataset. We see that a good cutoff might be around 25 words. TensorFlow has a built-in processing tool for determining vocabulary embedding called Vocabulary Processor under the Learn Preprocessing Library. Now, we split the data into a train and test set. We declare the embedding matrix for the words. Sentence words will be translated into indices. These indices will be translated into one-hot encoded vectors that we can create with an identity matrix, which will be the size of our word embeddings. We will use this matrix to look up the sparse vector for each word and add them together for the sparse sentence vector. Since we will end up doing logistic regression to predict the probability of spam, we need to declare our logistic regression variables. Then, we declare our data placeholders as well. It is important to note that the X data input placeholder should be of integer type because it will be used to look up the row index of our identity matrix, and TensorFlow requires that lookup to be an integer. We use TensorFlow's embedding lookup function that will map the indices of the words in the sentence to the one hot encoded vectors of our identity matrix. When we have that matrix, we create the sentence vector by summing up the aforementioned word vectors. Now that we have our fixed length sentence vectors for each sentence, we want to perform logistic regression. To do this, we will need to declare the actual model operations. Since we are doing this one data point at a time, stochastic training, we will expand the dimensions of our input and perform linear regression operations on it. Remember that TensorFlow has a loss function that includes the sigmoid function, so we do not need to include it in our output here. We now declare the loss function, prediction operation, and optimization function for training the model. Next, we initialize our graph variables before we start the training generations. Now, we start the iteration over the sentences. TensorFlow's vocab processor fit function is a generator that operates one sentence at a time. We will use this to our advantage to do stochastic training on our logistic model. To get a better idea of the accuracy trend, 
we will keep a trailing average of the past 50 training steps. If we just plotted the current one, we would either see 1 or 0, depending on whether we predicted that training data point correctly or not. It results in this output. To get the test set accuracy, we repeat the previous process, but only on the prediction operation, not the training operation with the test texts. Here's a histogram of the number of words in each text in our data. We use this to establish a maximum length of words to consider in each text. We set this as 25 words, but it can easily be set as 30 or 40 as well. We used TensorFlow's vocabulary processing functions to create a standardized vocabulary to work with and created sentence vectors, which were the sum of each text's word vectors. Great!